Sarah, and I am the creator and maker for Red Panda Creations, also Red Panda Doodles as well, where I create SVGs. On Red Panda Creations, I do custom tumblers, and today I'm going to show you on Red Panda Creates how we're going to glitter a custom tumbler. Um, we're going to do just the basics because there are a lot of newbies out there and I want to make sure that y'all have all the information that you need to create a custom tumbler for yourself, for a hobby, or if you want to get started in learning how to make them so that you can create your own Etsy shop, your own Facebook shop, and get them selling out the door. But you need the proper techniques first. So put your hair up, get your epoxy clothes on, and let's get to work. So you want to make sure that you have a properly sanded cup. You want this cup to make sure that it has no shininess whatsoever to it. Sorry about the chickens. We live on a farm, y'all. Um, you want to make sure that it is completely like scuffed up and everything. And then you're going to get your color of choice. Make sure you shake it up real good. If you want all the paint to be mixed in and then you're going to let me turn this way actually you're gonna make sure that you fully paint your cup I make sure that I do stay far enough back from it Because you do want an even layer and you want to make short quick bursts okay that's the best way to get an even coverage and that proper sanding just make sure that your paint layer is uniform because you want it to be fully covered and uniform and this helps for basic just painted cups as well as your glitter cups which is what we're going to do all right everybody so we have our prepped and um spray painted tumbler here and it is dry and um you see we have a nice smooth coat of paint on there so that's what you need if you're going to make just a basic painted tumbler or if you're going to um, make a glitter tumble tumbler as well and I'm old school so I have mine on my pool noodle and my arm and that's what I spray painted which y'all see me do and uh, so now we're going to get into the epoxy method of applying your glitter all right guys so first and foremost we want to make sure we get on our PPE. Now, um, PPE is personal protective equipment, so that definitely is different for everyone. I definitely make sure that I wear gloves because I don't want my hands coming in direct contact with the epoxy. So, um, we're going to get our epoxy out, I'm going to get my gloves on, and we're going to mix our epoxy. All right, guys, so I'm getting a, I got my prepared surface to protect everything, and then I have my um, two-part epoxy resin, and I just have, uh, it's a little over 2.5 here in my, in my cups. Um, when you're pouring up your epoxy, you want to make sure that you do the thick, side first which is your part a um, that is the resin part and you want to do it first because 
it since it is so thick you want to make sure that it does have time to settle completely so that when you measure it it is um, exactly on point because a lot of the times because this is so thick you get it to the line but then it settles more uh, due to the surface tension of it and then it will actually be more than what you originally poured so make sure you do the uh, thickest part A first and then pour your part B second now um, what I do is part B since it is thinner I when I pour up into two cups I leave that cup and then I pour I put part A into part B sure that you do scrape out everything and you want to use some type of stirring apparatus that is non-porous and is also easy to clean these are just the little plastic mixing spoons that I use they they get into the little crevices of the mixing cups really good and as you see I got a little spillage here that's why you want to make sure that you do have gloves on when you're doing this and you see I have it all on the side and you're going to stir slowly and sometimes I do switch out for a stir stick which this is just a little acrylic stir stick because you want to make sure that you keep stirring in one direction and you um, want to make sure that you don't lift up to incorporate air into your resin. So you just stir and you'll see when you start to mix it that it goes to a, um, some people call it cloudy. Um, I like to think of it as the consistency of when you have you're pouring sugar and melting sugar in water um, it's kind of stringy in that sense make sure that you are scraping your sides as well now this is um, way more epoxy than you will actually need um, 2.5 is just the smallest measurement on my measuring cups and I don't want to go under that so usually I do make sure that um, I have a mold around or I have some type of project that I can use this extra epoxy in if I'm not um, going to apply glitter or epoxy multiple cups at, at once also a good um, thing to remember when you are working with epoxy is that you want your working space to be the correct temperature and epoxy works best when you are between 75 and 80 um, that just helps with the least amount of bubbles and it makes sure that your um, epoxy is a good consistency as well if you notice that it stays cloudy even after mixing it or it has a lot of bubbles that are getting incorporated then your environment actually may be a little too cold um, so you want to make sure that you um, mix your epoxy or keep your epoxy uh, near an area um, like a little space heater um, something that can keep your epoxy uh, at the correct temperature all right so um, you do mix your epoxy for about two to three minutes um, the less the less amount that you have you don't have to go um, through the full three minutes you can go less time uh, especially since we have just a little bit of epoxy here it doesn't really take that much time but as you can see the epoxy even though there are bubbles in it, 
the consistency is actually clear. You don't see any more of those strings. Um, it's not that cloudy consistency um, or anything else like that. Now there are bubbles, which for this um, section of doing the tumbler is fine. Um, the bubbles do not matter when you're applying the epoxy for glitter uh, placement. So we're going to set this aside. Um, sometimes I do set it aside for a couple of minutes. You don't want to go too too long because you do have a short working time when working with epoxy. So we're going to set this aside for just a couple of minutes, let those bubbles rise to the top, and then we're going to get our tumbler prepared to glitter. Alright guys, so now we're going to glitter our tumbler. Um, it did have some little flakes fall into it, um, so just little flakes of glitter fall into it while it was drying, but that's fine. We're going to be covering those up anyway. So um, you have your tumbler here. And today for our glitter, we're going to be using Girl Boss Glitters. And this is in the color, focus, this is in the color Baja Blast. All right, so what you do is you just pour a little bit of your epoxy onto your tumbler and you spread it out with a gloved finger. And you want just a very thin layer of glitter, I mean of epoxy, excuse me. You want just a thin layer of epoxy. You don't want it too thick and you'll know that your epoxy is too thick because when you start applying your glitter, you will notice that you have slick spots in your glitter. If you ever start to notice those, then you have way too much epoxy and you need to cut down. Some people like to um, put their cups in front of a space, space heater or heat them up with a hair dryer, uh, something, something of that nature. And um, that just helps your epoxy spread a little bit better. This is a, a, uh, just a room temperature cup and you can see that it's it's spreading just fine. Um, it is completely, completely covered. And that's about how you want it, okay? You just want it shiny. Now, if you used a gloss uh, spray paint, it's just going to be glossier than that. If you used a matte, you'll be able to tell um, where where it is glossy. But you just want it like that and just a nice, even layer. And you want to make sure you, you do, do your bottom. Make sure that it's even and you want to do all the way to the rim. And then just let that sit and settle for just a few moments. So our um, epoxy has been applied and it's been given uh, a little bit of time to kind of settle in and get um, the lines gone, um, which it's not, it's not a terribly big deal because um, the glitter is forgiving. So it won't be that, that big of a, an issue. Now, we are only going to do a one color glitter. We will do um, ombres, um, but for right now, we're just gonna do the basics. So the basics are a one color glitter. Now, I am going to use a hexagon mix. So that means that this glitter actually has a mix of multiple sizes. It has extra fine, it has fine, and it has, or excuse me, it has ultra fine, extra fine, and fine. So um, this is not gonna be just a simple, like you'll just see the, the extra fine just slapped on there. Um, this is going to be um, a mixed cut. So um, at least you, you will be experiencing that. So I just slowly pour my glitter on in one row until I get to the top. And then I turn 
let that fall off and then I do the next one and I do kind of pile it on when I'm doing a single colored glitter because I don't I want to make sure that I have a good coverage make sure you're going all the way to the end and then you also want to get where you would have your um, seam from one line to the other and then turn it and do your next line go all the way to the rim let it sit for a minute pour it off and then we just got one more section to go and pour that on go all the way to the rim and pour that on and then for the bottom you got this pile here just pile it up in the center and smush and then that covers your bottom and then what you want to do is you want to take something you can either tap the the arm, tap the cup, make sure you get your excess glitter off of it. Then you have coverage all over. Then of course you can just take all the glitter that you just poured and you put it back in your bottle. Now if you don't think that you got a good coverage, then just make sure then just let it rip and just cover it again. It's perfectly fine. You're not going to be wasting glitter. Um, and you see how my glitter is not creating soft or glossy spots, like slick spots, like if you were having an oil slick. That's because I did not apply too much epoxy for this step. And then you can just apply glitter to the bottom. go around again okay and with the epoxy method you do not have to do a second layer that's the beauty of first prepping your cup in the base glitter base color that you're going to do your glitter And then um, also doing the epoxy method because it gives you enough adhesive to really absorb the glitter to make a nice even coverage. Now, since I said that this was a chunky mix glitter, we are actually going to go in and put my glove back on and we're going to get a little sheet of, you can get wax paper, you can get parchment paper, what have you, doesn't matter, just this, um, since it's non-stick, then you're your uh, glitter and epoxy won't stick. Now you can either do it where you wrap it and kind of gently just press like that. Just kind of giving just a light little press. You're not like trying to press the glitter into the cup. Turn the cup and just give a nice little press. You just want those pieces that would normally be sticking up to just 
kind of lay flatter so that when you apply the epoxy, your first layer, then you don't have all these extra little pieces just sticking up. And just press it down. And sometimes, you know, you can just do it like tap, tap, tap with your gloved hand. You might have some glitter that does fall. That's perfectly fine. That would have just um, when to apply your per your first um, layer of epoxy, that would have just floated up in the epoxy anyway. Um, so if you do have glitter that falls off, that is fine. Because that glitter that floats up in your first layer of epoxy creates bubbles, it creates imperfection looks, and things like that. So give it a little shaky shake. And there you go. There is your first layer of epoxy. And it should look rough. It should not look slick at all. You want it to look just like this. Just like a rough canvas of glitter. Alright, next we're going to go into our first layer of epoxy. Alright guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed that video on us glittering that tumbler. Um, so this is going to lead us into our next video which will be all about epoxying the tumbler. I'm going to go into the specifics of uh, what you need and what you need to do for epoxying the tumbler. Now I'm going to let this tumbler dry for about three to four hours because I want all the epoxy to make sure that it is cured so that it can hold on to that glitter properly. All right, guys. Um, I hope you'll join us for our next video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really does um, help out my channel and I appreciate it so much. And I hope that y'all have a really good day.